Yes, see secret ways of thinking which. Okay, I'm M. Amza. You have tuned again into this channel, raising energy, raising vibration. Okay, family, friends, colleagues, you are welcome again in this channel. I am going to be leading you throughout this channel. I'm going to be sharing with you six secret ways of thinking wish. Now, there are things I've told you earlier in this video that we must change our perception. We must change our belief. We must change the way we think. We must change the way we see many. We must change the way we feel about this issue. If really we want to manifest the life that we want and desire. Now, in this book, I am going to Oh, in this uh, video for me to say, I am going to share with you, you know, I'm writing a book. That's why sometimes I'm tempted of saying this book because really I'm writing, I'm on the project writing a book. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you some secrets. If you think very well, see secret way of thinking wish. If you implement that thinking start, style in your life, you are going to see that your income way or your way of thinking, you are going to attract abundance and wealth in your life. Now, first of all, belief is belief is just something that can be changed. It's not something permanent. It can be changed depending on the way you give it, the attention you give it. You can change your belief anytime you want. And that's the reason why I'm here. I'm here to cause you to change your belief, to upgrade your belief, moving from low belief to high belief. Now I'm going to share with you six secret ways of thinking wish. The, here you are going to see the different way the poor people think and the different ways the rich people think. And this thinking are going to really improve on your life and you are going to decide on which way to think. Whether to think as a poor or to think as a wish, but I advise you to think as the wish do think. Now, the first thing, the first secret one is that wish people think that they create their life. Yes, wish people for them they create their life. Hmm? They don't think that life happened to them, but poor people think that like life happened to them, they, that they are the victim of life. But for the rich people, they have the decision over their finance. They have the decision over their relationship. They have the decision over their education. They have the decision over the type of food to eat. But for the poor people, they think they, they are just the victim. Whatever comes their way, they accept it. No, that was a wrong belief. Who come out from that belief. That belief that you are a victim of your life is not true. It's not true. You have that power to change to change the decision life doesn't happen to you you are the one that creates your life according to the law of cause and effect every cause that you bring you use you, you put in place bring about its corresponding effect in its physical reality you are the creator of your life you are not the victim of the life of your life begin to upgrade your thinking now be the creator of your life create your finance Things doesn't happen just to you like that. You have all the potentials that you, that, that you need to, to create your life. You have the thinking, you have the value, you have the deep fountain in you to create your life. That's why I am seeing that you are the creator of your life. Begin to think in terms that you are the creator of your life. Now, the second thinking, the second way of thinking between the rich and the poor people is that the wish man play the, the, the game of money to win. Why the poor play the wish the wish man play the game of money to win. Why the the poor play not to loss. Now you know in life if you are to play a match a game and you are going you are going that you are playing for for, for defense and not for offense. The probability for you to win that game is very slim or is very reduced. And that's what is there. Because if you are going to play a game that you are going to play for defensive purpose, it will be hard for you to, to win the match. But when you are playing that you are playing for offense, eh, the probability for you to win is very high. And that's what, how poor people have been thinking. They just think on security and survival. That's their main thinking. 
The intention is just to survive. The intention is just for merely security. But for poor people, they think to have to, to, to in terms in riches, in terms to accumulate great riches. It's time for you. You have not come here just to survive. You have not come here just to be secure. But you have come here to accumulate wealth. You have come here to accumulate great things. Now upgrade your thinking. You are not in this life just for survival. No, you are here because you have to accumulate wealth. You are here because you have to accumulate riches. Upgrade your thinking and you begin to see great things happening in your life. Now, the number th three ways that rich people think is that rich people are committed to be rich while poor people are uncommitted to be rich. Now, let me tell you, rich people, they see everything that comes their way as now. When I mean of committed, it means that they, are, they, they work hard. They know whatever it is. Anything that will present their, onto their way in their course of getting the rich, they'll see it as a risk. Because a risk will equally come with great opportunities. Big risks will come with great reward behind it. But poor people, when they see a risk, when they are attempting to, to get rich, they'll run away from the risk, they'll run away from problems. That is how this, the things are happening. So begin to be committed. Begin to do things otherwise. Begin to, 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 to begin to create your own life. Huh? Risks are not there to kill you. Risks are just there to fortify you. Risks are not there to eliminate you. But make Go and face the risks. And the more higher the risks, the higher the rewards. So the number fourth way the rich man think and the poor man think is that rich people think big and poor people think small. Rich people think big and poor people think small. Now, let me just analyze this a little bit. The way the, rich man, the, the poor man thinks is that his thinking is egoistic. Uh, that is, he's working just to save himself. He's like doing anything. Anything that the, the poor man do is just for thyself. It's just for thyself. Uh, the work that he does is for thyself. Uh, the, 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 the farm that is working, the business is just for thyself. But that's not the way the, 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 the rich person or the rich people they think. The rich people, they think big. They think in order to serve the community, in order to serve the mass. Because there's something. The more people you serve, the more reward you have in return. And that's how the rich people have been thinking. They have been thinking in, in, in terms to, 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 to resolve the mass problem. But the poor man would think in terms to resolve his own, his own problem. Come out from such a thinking. That thinking doesn't help you. That thinking doesn't cause you to be rich. Instead, it limits you and causes you to remain poor. The next thinking, that the, the next way of thinking that uh, the, the rich people do think is that rich people are bigger than their problems. Yes, rich people are bigger than their problems. Why, small, why poor people are smaller than their problems? I want to go more further into this thing. For you to understand now you have to understand that if you look if you take a, a, a child in level two eh, and you give that child a problem of level five of course you see the problem bigger than him but if you take a person in level eight and you give the same problem of level five you look at it very small eh? but if you take a, a person in level 10 and you still gives a level 5 problem will just see as it like a normal something that has a brushing the teeth and washing the face every morning so that's the way people has been looking life and that is it poor people they look at their problem bigger than their, themselves but rich people they look at their at themselves bigger than their problem i want to advise you that you need to begin to look yourself bigger than your problem Stop looking the difficulties. Stop looking the challenges that comes towards you as if you are small. You are not small for it. You are more bigger than those challenges. You are more higher. You have more height to overcome those challenges than you have ever thought of. Please 
change our mentality, change our way of thinking, and take the wish man thinking. And the last one is that wish people focus on opportunities, why poor people focus on problems. Now, let me go further. Wish people focus on opportunities, why poor people focus on problems. Whenever they see something, the wish man will see that in this thing, what can I have? What op the opportunity I can have? Now, but when they say they say, they say the case, the pro the problem will say, oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. I, I cannot do anything. I cannot. Now, let me. There's a question that we have always asked. Each question, that is the glass half full or is the glass half empty? Is the glass half full? Or is the glass half empty? The poor man will tell you that the glass is half empty. <laughs> but the rich man will tell you that the glass is half full. Why? Remove your eyes on the problem. Look but the, about the opportunity. There are many opportunities in life. In the problems, there's an opportunity that you can have it. In the crisis, there's an opportunity that you can have it. Stop focusing on the crisis. Stop focusing about the corona issue. In the corona issue, there's something that you can have out of it. I'm telling you, that's the way the wishman would think. The wishman will see a situation, an opportunity in the corona crisis. But the old man will say, oh, the corona crisis have come to close the shop. The corona crisis have come. We will no more go to a farm. The corona, come, the corona crisis has come. Schools are, school, school has ended. And that is all. He's going to see it because he's seeing the problem. But the old man will say, oh, do he will see that, hey, the corona crisis, there's no school. My children can still learn in the house. Now, the corona crisis is no school. I can be giving online courses to people. That's how the rich man would think. But the poor man would go, hey, there's no school. Go and sit. Now, I haven't shared this thing with you, family, brethren. It's time for you to begin to change your thinking. These are the six secret, secret ways of thinking wish. Implement the secret ways of thinking wish. And you are going to see something happen in your life. Now, um, I'll emphasize again need that our belief sharpen our action. Our belief sharpen our action. And our belief sharpen everything that happened unto us. I've told you earlier in this channel that there's a way the wish man thinks and there's a way the, wish, uh, the poor man thinks. That brings about different results. There's another that says that 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 said that, that, that said that what if you want to achieve what you have never achieved, begin to do what you have never done. If you want to achieve what you have never achieved or what you have never had, begin to do what you have never done. You have never think in terms of wish people. You have never think in terms of abundance. You have never think in terms of opportunity. You have never think in terms of playing the game to win. You have never think in terms that you are the creator you have never seen opportunity you have never seen yourself greater than your problem please it's time for you to change and think otherwise there's a way of thinking that bring about a way of action and there's a way of action that bring about there's a way of thinking for me that bring about a way of actions and a certain way of action equally bring about a certain result it's time for you to upgrade your belief it's time for you to upgrade your thinking way and equally your results are going to be upgraded. Please, if you love yourself, if you love me, please make sure you abide on to these six secret ways of thinking wish. That's the reason, that's the reason why I'm here. And that's the reason why you are there watching me. Abide on to it and the infinite spirit, the I am, the being, the ultimate being is going to reward your effort. Don't forget, if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe into this channel so that I will be able to notify you with upcoming video in order to help you in your journey of raising your energy, raising your vibration for you to live the life that you desire. I am M. Amza leading you in this channel, raising energy, raising vibration. Please make sure you give a thumbnail onto this video and you comment down below. Thank you.